can you go take out the trash, please? Okay. Wait a second. Why is there an egg carton in here? I has an idea. Okay. And welcome, welcome to, to this, this video. video. This week we're gonna be showing you guys something, some things that you can do with an egg carton. I'm sure it's all happened to you guys. Where you're about to throw out an egg carton and you're like, I should do something with this besides just throwing it out. So we're gonna show you some of those things that you can do if you're too lazy to think of ideas yourself. Yep, let's roll, roll the clip. The clip. So first we're gonna make a cupcake. So you're gonna need the egg carton and you're gonna cut around this part right here. You're also gonna need some paint pens to decorate it. And then a pom-pom or you can use these pipe cleaners in the form of a pom-pom. So I've cut out my cupcake part and it looks like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna push it in and then you can decorate it. So I'm going to draw some stripes and lines with my markers. Swing my heart across the line in my face is flashing signs. Seek it out and ye shall find the old. But I'm not that old, young, but I'm not that bold. And I don't think the world is sold. I'm just doing what we're told. decorative egg carton cupcake okay, holder so you're gonna need of course an egg carton again and for this craft you're gonna want to cut off this part and cut these four but cut around this um, part. okay next you're gonna need an exacto knife and anything you want to decorate it we chose to use washi tape or you can use stickers or glitter whatever you want so now we're gonna take the pre-cut piece that I have here and we're just gonna cut out where the pencils are supposed to go um, just in like a diamond shape using the exacto knife You can go from under to get the scrap that out from it in the middle to clear it out. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna fix that up a little bit. Make it a little neater. Okay, next one. <laughs> Even harder to say when you know it's not true Even harder to write when you know that you're not There would be people back home which are talking to you But then you ignore them still Alright, so there's the two pencil holders And now we're going to take the washi tape And just go on the edges with it Just the easier edges to make to add a little pop to it Okay, and just take some scissors and cut the end of it. And then for the next side, I'm just gonna take it and do the same thing. Yeah. And now it looks really cute and colorful, and like a rainbow. And I'm gonna make it stick better to the outsides. All right, there we go. And then just add pencils in the holes I cut. Should, yeah, it fits two and holds them really nicely. And then you can just put whatever you want in the other place. Put some 
string, pencil sharpener, and a wash. There you go. Holds it very nice. Okay, and now we're gonna make a hanging plant holder. So you're going to need the egg carton, and we're just gonna use one of these. And then you're also going to need some pipe cleaners because we're gonna be making our own plants because we're real class people. And then you're going to need 10 pieces of string and we've, eight pieces of string, and we've cut it 10 inches long. Okay, so we're gonna start with this part as this is gonna be the plant holder. And we're gonna start by making the little flowers. So I'm going to use this for the stem and this for the top part. So. I'm just going to fold this in half and then you can wrap this part around here and then I like to make it into a rose because that's pretty easy to do. So you just kind of wrap it loosely around it and that makes it a nice little rose like that. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other one. And obviously you don't have to do roses, you can do whatever you want, but this is easy and it looks nice too. Alright, so we have our two little roses. And now with this, we're going to start with the string. So you're going to tie them all in one knot. That. And then I'm going to put this upside down and we're going to separate these into four sections of two. And this is going to be the base for the hanging knot. And then you can stick your little flowers in there. And you have your little hanging pot. Thanks for watching! We hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to G&K Crafts to see more. In the comments below, tell us which craft you like the best and if these were helpful. See y'all next time. Bye! Bye.